Right. Now what we want to do is form the bushy part at the front. Which if we can get this one back out. So it's getting all this stuff to do this. Now there's a technique to doing that. First of all, I'm going to use some of this, it's fireball orange, and I'm going to take our normal sized bunch, like this, fold it over so we've got about the halfway mark. And cut it off. Put one bunch aside to use in a minute. Now the ends of this stuff, if you just tease a few of the fibres out so that they're longer than the others, when you fold that in half like that you've got a, two nice straggly ends. So what we need to be doing is tying that in somewhere central on top. First of all we need some varnish on there, I forgot the varnish. It's all just nattering. You can afford to really slap it on with this stuff. There we go. Lay the fibre over the top. Pinch and loop over the top. Bind it down on top of the existing. And then run the silk off the end, holding the fibres as you go. And you'll see it pulls it right down into this neck here. Now if you take two more turns towards the eye, bend the fibres back and go back towards the hook bend and tighten into there, into that gap, you'll see that it sticks up away from the shank and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Get the other bunch of fibres, fold them in half so we know where the centre point is again, roughly put that on this side of the hook, this face, Pin pinch and loop one turn round and pull it tight, Two, three turns, fold the material round the other side, taking a couple of turns over it as we go. Okay, let's try and get the camera in there so you can see what I'm doing there. You can see there's the material. I'm just binding that down so it's in the right position like that. Pull everything back and just bind it all together. Yeah, it's not too much. Now you can see how it's all getting pretty bushy. A bit more varnish on that. Well, I'm going to use a bit of this stuff. This is basically spectrum fibre that's been dyed. Uh, and it's gone all kind of bushy and floaty. Lovely stuff. We don't need a lot of this. Just pick a few strands of this, probably 10 strands. And you can see how it's all curly and 10 strands of that. Travel it off, pick roughly halfway, one each side, like that, pinch and loop it down, three, back again, three. Now what I like to do is pull that and cut it to the length of the hair and then it springs back. A few more turns over there. Right, now we come to the penultimate bit, which is... We'll use a bit of melon orange, I think, for this bit. Dave Lindsay's favourite stuff. Normal size bunch again. Mm. 
mess around with the ends. Fold it in half. Cut it. Mess around with the ends again. About halfway. One over the top. Tie it in. And then the remaining bunch split it into two. One down this side. One down the far side. A bit more varnish. You can really work your stuff into these fibres. Soaks in a little bit, glues everything together. The other bunch of this stuff, straight ends again, mess around with them so they're all different lengths. Preparation of your materials is the key consideration with all these flies. And a bit more down down this side. You can always take that around the sides of the hook like that if you wish. Spread it out a bit more, hold it up tight. There we go. Now you'll notice we've come off the front of the fibre there. And that's where we're just going to put a tiny tease of. Oh, I'm going to put a little bit of this violet pink in there. Just a bit of a touch. Again, prepare a length of fibre, 12 inches, fold her over, cut her roughly in half. Only a tiny bit this time. Two ends together. Mess around with it a little. Let's see how this goes. Look nice? Oh, I think that looks pretty good. Just livens it a touch. Now this time we're going to pinch and loop right behind the whole kite. Straight into there. Three turns. Split the remainder into two, and I'm going to be clever and pull them both back at the same time, like that. And now we're just going to finish the front of the fly off by binding it in tightly, and then we're going to whip. Brush, brush all that. Just blend those fibres a little bit more. You can see that's turned out into a real fire orange type colour, which is quite uh, quite lovely. Same both sides. The idea of a jelly belly. Although it's got a glitzy bottom end to it, we use a long pair of scissors. Start at the bottom of the fly and cut up towards the hook point. Hold on, let me get the chip bin underneath us. Like that. Keep stopping and having a look. It's supposed to cover the hook altogether. I don't know whether you can see that, but the hook points in there, look. Pull those fibres back to just there. And the idea is that we keep trimming back until we've got a nice shaped body at the bottom that doesn't foul the hook. In fact, what it does, it prevents any of the other fibres fouling the hook. Getting the idea now. Now the, the very end of the fly, the tail. Pull it down level and just chop the end off. 